Hey, what is up guys? I'm Gunix here and welcome back to a brand new Unity tutorial here on the channel or if this is your first video that you're watching of mine, welcome to the channel. So today guys, I have a pretty good Unity tutorial for you all. I'm going to be showing you all how to do Resident Evil style camera switching in Unity. So if you've played the old Resident Evil games before, like the first one especially, you would know how the cameras work in that game. So here you have your character, for example, and as they walk around in a certain area, once they go into a new area, uh, the camera will switch. So as you can see, uh, this works exactly how it does pretty much in the old uh, Resident Evil games. So if you're someone who's making like a game inspired from Resident Evil, like the old Resident Evil games, or you're someone who just wants to have a camera style similar to the old Resident Evil games, well, this video is for you. And so how about now we finally get into how to do this. Now, it's actually not that difficult. It is pretty easy in my opinion. So what we have here is we just have this uh, basic example of a room. And then I have three cameras around. So I have one camera, which is already active and facing the player over here. And then we have two more active. I mean, two more um, inactive cameras, I meant to say. Two more inactive cameras, which are going to be switched to at some point. So we'll make them active just so you can see uh, where they are. So these are the two other cameras here, which are just facing... Uh, this one's facing this way, and this one's facing this way. So how do we get our camera that's over here to switch to these cameras when our player goes into these areas? Well, that's easy. So what we've got here is we've got some triggers. We've got four triggers. Um, first, I'll just show the first two that are at this door. So here we have our first two triggers. Now, when the player, so when the player goes into this room, right, first they're going to hit this trigger. Now, this trigger is to make this camera active over here and then deactivate uh, the one that's over here, the one that's for this room. And then when the player lands on this trigger, uh, that's when the camera will actually change. So this camera will turn off and the other one that's over here will turn on. And then when the player enters back into this part of the room, uh, this trigger will be used here. And I already said what that does, it makes this camera active and this one not active anymore. So yeah, it's pretty easy, you just need to have two different triggers which uh, you have one activating this camera and then deactivating that camera. Then you have another trigger activating that camera and deactivating this camera. It's pretty much just the opposite. And then the same goes with here as well. It's pretty much just the same. You have these triggers here and you know, you just, uh, yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys the script for this. It is a pretty simple script here it is in fact. So we've just got the basic Unity stuff here, then we've got public game object, cam old and cam new. So what this means is our old camera and our new camera. And then when our player enters the trigger, what will happen is the old camera, which is the camera which is already active and facing you, uh, basically that will turn off. And then this, the new camera, which is in the other room and not active yet, will turn on. So yeah, that's pretty much just the script there. It's literally only 15 lines long. So it is pretty simple. And then uh, once you drag that script down and you drag the cameras where they need to be, then uh, you can do this. Which actually I will show you guys how to do that just in case uh, you don't know how to. So to add a script to an object, all you need to do is like drag it uh, over to the object in the, in the hierarchy. Or if you've already got the object selected, just drag it over here in the right section here. And then what you want to do is um, you want to find the script on your object and then you want to add the uh, cameras onto there that you know of that, yeah, you're going to use. All right, so if this helped you out, guys, be sure to like, comment and subscribe for more. And also, uh, if you're using this for any game of yours in particular, be sure to tell me about it down in the comments below as well. Uh, why do you want to do this sort of camera switching? I'd really love to hear. So with that being said, I think this is pretty much the end of the video since I've got everything that I need to say across. Again, if this tutorial helped you out, be sure to like, comment and subscribe for more uh, other tutorials sort of like this. And I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.